for YouTube purposes. Today, we are going to be making our way to Kanalov City. Kanalov? I don't know how to pronounce it. I will never learn how to pronounce actual um, cities in Pokemon. But uh, we should be having a rival battle trainer plus going to... What is this place called? Um, Iron Island and facing off the Ace Trainer Riley. I'm pretty sure that's the guy that has a Lucario, right? Um, we'll also go there and then potentially if we have time we'll also face the next gym leader but might end up being in the next episode um, but of course if you are enjoying the series the pokemon uh, luminescent platinum hardcore nuzlocke make sure to stay liked and subscribe to the channel as i do appreciate all the love and you will not want to miss more episodes of this as we push through to the fifth badge on our way um you know, we gotta save the world first, I guess, before we do the champion, but you know what I'm saying. You're not gonna want to miss out on that, so. We finally made it to whatever the city is called. <laughs> I'll, quit, I'll quit butchering the name, alright? Um, we're about to go up against a rival. Um, I'll explain the team. Of course, every major boss battle, or significant boss battles, most of them, have four different teams. So whenever we face our rival here, we have like four different options that it could be. This team shown um, is just an example of one that it could be. Uh, this is the first team that it could be. Um, I'm gonna go through my team and then we'll just jump straight into the battle and just, I will go over the team before we actually fight. So we are bringing Mephisto. I absolutely love this Raichu set. Magnet, Adamant, um, we have 95 base attack, so we're hitting pretty decently hard. Fake out plus quick attack, and then we have Hyper Voice and Surf for their couple ground types, potentially Camera Up and Nino King off the top of my head uh, that we might wanna hit with the Surf. Next we have Cardi B, which unfortunately does not have a little icon, but does look beautiful whenever we actually throw her out into battle. Running a Black Sludge, Impish, Max HP, Max Defense with Intimidate. This is just good all around for physical attackers. We have Night Slash. Also, this is a good switch in for Alakazam, which is something that was definitely lacking, uh, which we can knock out with the Night Slash. And we also have Spikes in case the team that we're reversing does have uh, Focus Sash on any other Pokemon, so we can also set up a Spike. Next we have Emma, the Ninetales, uh, likely max HP, max speed actually. Um, so we can set up a reveal and then hit pretty hard with Dazzling Gleam, plus Ice Beam does have really good coverage against most of their team, plus I have Disable just in case um, there's a Choice Scarfer that's locked into a move, or Choice Banded uh, Pokemon. I think there was a Choice Banded one. Um, next up, Weezing, Bold Nature, Max HP, Max Defense, you know the deal. Same set as always, this Pokemon is just goaded. Uh, then we have Windy. I'm absolutely loving Masquerade in this game because Max HP, Max Defense uh, plus Bold allows me to set up pretty easily with Quiver Dance on Special Mons as well as Physical Mons. Um, so we're also running uh, Leftovers on this and for coverage we have Shadow Ball, Bug Buzz, and Surf. Then um, most teams actually have a Kingdra. So to deal with that we have an Azumarill with an Extra Bell, Adamant Nature, Max HP, Max Attack and with just full coverage moves. Uh, I was kind of sick and tired of running Belly Drum because it didn't seem that useful. So let's get right into the match. Fighting on the bridge is kind of sick. Whoops, oh hey, little hill. Of course the IRS is back. We're gonna challenge the gym, but first we gotta challenge him. He's always ahead of us grabbing those gym badges. All right, let's see what he sends out first. Sableye. So that is team number two. So let me change that and we'll go over it. Wild Town, team number two. All right, cool. So, this means that he has a Sableye with Prankster, Lagging Tail, uh, Trick Knockoff, blah, 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 Kingdra with Dragon Dance Sub is wild, but I have a great switch in Zoomeril. Staraptor, Intimidate, Muscle Band, gonna hit pretty hard. Dustnor with Iron Fist and Extra Belt, Drought, Camera Up in the back uh, with Solar Beam, and then Competitive Empoleon with Life Orb. Good thing I did not bring Sticky Web this game. Um, so, I'm pretty sure Fake Out should be Electric type, so I'm gonna go for it. Nice. And we get Great Chip. Um, oh yeah, sorry, let me let me hide this thing, I almost forgot. Sorry. Um, so we're obviously not gonna kill it. If he switches me a Lagging Tail, do I care? I don't think so. Um, there's no reason for me to switch, so I'm just gonna go for a Hyper Voice. He actually doubles. Hard camera up? Wow, bro has got some strats on deck. Okay. Shit. He went to the he went to the trainer school. 
So we got absolutely cooked there. Um, I do have Surf, but I don't think that's the best move here. Wow, I also, also just didn't bring a ground type switch in. Um, so, this is a little bit problematic. I low-key think that, I mean, I, I can go into Masquerade and take a Bug Buzz, but then I'm taking a Flamethrower afterwards, and then I really don't have a Flamethrower switch in. So I'm low-key thinking Azumarill might be the play, because Camerupt is super, super slow. Um, it doesn't have Solid Rock, but it does have Drought. Hmm, this is a very precarious situation. I don't have a lot of especially defensive mons. Um, like, I can go this and also spam Surf. Uh, this thing is max HP, max Spadef. What's its lower stats? Is it defense or is it... Okay, so Spadef is slightly higher. I think if we go... So let me think about this. We can go Wendy on the Earth Power and then on... What would it be? Flamethrower? Would it be Flamethrower? Yeah, it'd probably be Flamethrower because it's Sun Boosted. Um, I could go into Azumarill, but then I have chances of getting flinched, which I'm not a fan of. Plus, I'm not running running any speed on my Azumarill. But I should always be faster. I am base 50, they're base 40, so it's actually kind of close. Let me see if I can find, um... Lucas's... Movesets. Bellstone City. Oh brother. Or what's his what's his name? Barry? Yeah. Barry. Yikes. What is this place called? Canna Lav City. Where is he? Barry Team 2. Oh wait, this is Byron. Fuck. Sorry guys, uh, Canna Love City, where is it? This is kind of important, that's why I'm like actually, I actually can't find it. Is his name Cedric? Okay, I have no fucking clue. Alright, whatever. Um, so we can come in EP and then Waterfall. I feel like that's a good play, but also Drought is kind of fucking things up a little bit, isn't it? I can keep switching until the drought goes away. I think this is probably the play. I think we go Masquerade first and then go Zumra on the flamethrower. We also waste a couple turns of uh, drought, which is kind of important. EP, we should eat relatively well. Um, I can also quiver on this. It is sun boosted. It's gonna do neutral damage, but I can get plus one and just kind of sit and chill while we wait for Drought to go away. Let's try this. Let's go ahead and get plus one, see how much this Flamethrower is going to do. I know Camera Up is strong, but... Let's see... 138... Jesus Christ, that wasn't even a crit? Okay. Mask of Rain, okay. Um, we might need you to do a little pop-off here. Hmm. Another Flamethrower coming in. I think if I Quiver Dance, I'm definitely living this, right? And then I can Surf the following turn, and plus two, I think I should kill it outside of this. Because Sun... Water moves are heavily weakened. I think I have to Quiver Dance to get out of this. So I am plus two, Masquerade. I think you should live this. Flamethrower, it is in the sun. Oof, okay, I threw, I threw. Rip. I was not counting, um, I was not counting actual HP there. Rip. That's a fat rip. Okay. Hmm, our positioning was bad. I should have gone to Zoomerall first and then tried to wither out the storm. This thing is still a problem. I think I just go... If I go Zoomerall and I go for a waterfall, I don't know if I pick up the KO. I am higher level, but he's got max HP. Um, I guess in Azumarill we trust. Waterfall. Wow, okay, I should have just done this earlier. I'm an idiot. I sacked Masquerade for nothing. So, that is a very, very unfortunate because Masquerade is the GOAT. 
but I'll let that uh I'll let that hit me a lot harder whenever we actually get out of this. So this thing has Thunder Punch. Um, I could go this and then fake out for some chip and then he's gonna Shadow Punch me. I mean I can go this. That seems fine actually. Should always be Thunder Punch. We can get some fake out chip. He has no switch ins. Yeah, so we get some fake out chip and then we go over Quill. We are not out of this yet, that's why I'm heavily focused on trying to map through. Wow, he ice punched. What? What is this AI? He's actually uh, predicting me now, which is crazy. Okay, well, I didn't want that much damage on my Raichu. It means I definitely can't switch into anything else. Here's Overquill. We get an Intimidate drop. Show me Shadow Punch. Nice. Now we Night Slash. Should take him out, I think. Um, I don't think we need spikes for this match. Just T punch doesn't do anything. Do I need spikes? Only affects Kingdra. Save light technically gets affected, and Empoleon. Which I think my answers are getting a little bit low. I'm actually thinking spiking a couple times could be beneficial because this Dustmore really can't touch me. So I might as well get three. Uh, might as well get some hazards up. Overquill isn't really necessarily important outside of Star Raptor, just for like the intimidate. Plus, Star Raptor doesn't have Bird yet, so I'm kind of comfortable just kind of sitting here. Um, I could also. I mean, I also have like I also have this in the back. I could actually go this Willow and then delve back to get up my final layer of spikes. I think it'll be okay though. We can keep wheezing around for Star Raptor. So we're still we're still at a good HP. I think this Night Slash should kill him. Nice, I snore down. I honestly don't know who comes in here. Probably Kingdra? Probably. Alright. Kinder comes in. Takes a shit ton from Spikes. Excellent. And I think we just go hard into Azumarill. Because neither of his stabs do any damage to me. I feel like Star Raptor is the problem. That thing in the back is a problem child. Should play rough. Should take him out. Nice, Kingdra down. All right, cool. Only three left. We should be able to make out this out. It's just very unfortunate that I keep throwing. <laughs> like I shouldn't have Quiver Dance twice. Maybe my Surf honestly killed Camera up there. I don't know. It, it is times four. Um, I did get intimidated. My Overquill should be able to survive a hit, and then we intimidate this as well. This also is not a uh, reckless. So we're, this thing is a lot weaker. Goes for a takedown. Doesn't even have double edge, lol. Couldn't be me. Do I need this thing besides... There's no more physical attackers except for Sableye. Which we can actually hard switching on for the prankster. So I think we keep this alive just in case. We'll go Weezing and will o -Wisp this. And then we should be in the clear. Should be in the clear. Damn, that did a lot. What the fuck? Why is Weezing like... I thought he was tanky like that. That's like minus one damage. I don't know. Maybe my IVs are trash though. Could be. Could very well be. Alright, so the Star Raptor should die. Um, we should not have any problems with this at this point. We'll spam uh, Strange Theme so he can't double on my Sludge Bomb. Man, that's the first time. I think if I think if the AI didn't switch switch and camera up on my Raichu, um, I think Masquerade would also be alive. That's another path that didn't end up happening. 
All right, final strange team should kill this thing. He actually decides a U-turn, interesting. Here comes Empoleon probably, or more than likely. I actually go Sableye, okay, then logically, I don't know, I don't know anything anymore. Sableye does go down. I think because Empoleon's last, it'll always send in the last Pokemon. So, this should be Staraptor again. <laughs> And then finally Empoleon, so I think we... We're definitely cutting it down to the last couple Pokemon. The problem is, is I don't really have switch-ins to uh, Flash Cannon. I mean, Azumarill is decent. Oh, please, wait, pause. Strange Steam? Oh, no, 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 it's just confusion, it's just confusion. We're chilling, we're chilling. I was about to say, I was like, oh no, what about the uh, attack chance from Player Up, but... This is obviously strange to him. All right, yeah, so here's the problem. Um, I maybe should have even doubled that turn. Because now I don't have flash cannon switch-ins. Hmm. I don't think I live one. With my wheezing. I think I need to go Azu. Hmm. Because I, I think I actually was planning on using Masquerade for Empoleon. This is gonna do a lot. Brother. Oh my god. Am I faster? I don't think I am. I don't have a... Uh, I should have ran Jolly, but I don't have an answer to this, so... Uh, RIP Azumarill. My blue bunny is gone. This is not looking good. I need to focus up. I, uh, I have not been locked in. I've, I've been dilly-dallying far too long. All right, let me think what wins here. I'm pretty sure it's always Raichu. Fake Out plus Hyper Voice, I think, should win. Fake Out, yeah, gone. Okay. Uh, so Raptor comes in, quick attack should kill. All right, Star Raptor, we just go for a quick attack and he is done. Even though we're minus one, I don't think it should matter. Because Raichu is galvanized plus magnet. Nice. Okay. GG. Um, yeah. I have not been locked in. I need to lock in. I know that was risky. I didn't have the calc ready. I was trying to find the camera, but I was also trying not to waste time. Um, so I still, I still can't even find that calc in here, to be honest. Um, because the rival's name, I feel like, just keeps... Isn't the rival name, uh, Lucas? Do, 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 do. I see Route 210, Veilstone, Route 224, Sand Gym. I don't know. I don't see it. So, um... That is unfortunate. I can't just use, like, a normal calc, so... Blah, blah, blah. We're going to the Iron Island. Big. So we're about to go up against H Trainer Riley. Uh, which is at this Iron Island, but I have no idea where he's actually at. So, I am just going to um, basically talk about our squad, um, and then, you know, I'll skip to where we actually fight him. So, he has an Absol with Super Lux, Scope Lens, Earthstring with Guts, Flame Orb, Metagross, Light Metal, Lychee Berry, Salamence with Intimidate, Power Herb, Fly, and Dragon Dance Set, a Slacking with Truant, Citrus Berry, a Lucario with Inner Focus, and Life Orb. So, I actually don't have access to Protect as of right now, uh, which would have been actually super crucial for this match. Um, so, we're kind of just rocking with what we were rocking with. So, I have an Extra Bill Infernape as my lead with Adamant Nature. I should always be able to outspeed the Absol, especially since it doesn't have speed EVs. I can just CC him and cook him right then and there. So, I'm running a uh, half speed, half attack, and then max HP um, so we can kill that. Then it will bring in Salamance because Fly is 100 base in this game, meaning we'll hard switch into Macargo, which were leftovers max HP, max defense with Flame Body. We can uh, Will O Wisp the Salamance as well as just spam Power Gem, and we can also recover any damage. Then uh, Metagross should come in for the EQ. I'll be able to switch in on my Blicky and then go for a Will O Wisp, and then uh, potentially set up Reflect and then both switch out. And um, then if this is still in, I think it might be Ursaring. Maybe slacking, I'm not sure. Um, but I do have Corsola as an immunity for ghost type moves, so this it does well into Ursaring. 
um, who I can strength sap down. And I decided not to evolve this Corsola because the Cursola has lower defense, so it would actually be worse in this matchup technically. Um, and there's no Eevee Light in this game, unfortunately. I think it's like based on Renegade Platinum, so at the time when Renegade Platinum was made, Eevee Light wasn't around yet. Um, so I think in this game it's not in here either. Which is actually like more beneficial, it makes the game harder, um, especially early on. Then we have Mamma Mia, our Marowak. Uh, max HP, max defense to deal with the Lucario in the end uh, with Rockhead Flare Blitz with the club. And then uh, it doesn't show up, but we have Overquill as a backup, max HP, max defense with Intimidate, uh, our Cardi B. So yeah, let's uh, go find out where this guy's at. Switch that over. Ah, he's literally right here. <laughs> you are? Okay, you're low health plays. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer as well. Anyways, it's always nice to meet another trainer. If it's alright with you, I'd like to challenge you to a battle right now. Deal. Let's see what you got, dog. I like the little, uh, little fit going on, though. Absol comes in. We should be able to nuke this thing immediately. And I'm going to try to cook a little bit harder. Uh, because last match, losing like that felt really bad. So, uh, losing Masquerade, which I did not want to lose, felt really bad. So I'm going to try to lock in. Enough dilly-dallying. Born to dilly-dally, forced to lock in, unfortunately. So we knock out the Absol. As predicted, this should be Mints. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Okay, logically, that makes zero sense to me. Um... Fuck. Uh, so I get nuked by EQ or Zen Headbutt here. EQ technically does more damage. Wait, no. So, based on switching... Oh no, EQ's 100 base. No wonder EQ's in now. Okay. So, EQ would kill me, and so would Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt is... 80 plus stab? Um, let me check really quickly. Zen Hudba is 80, plus stab is 1.5, so it's technically a 120 base power move the AI is seeing, rather than EQ. So I'm going to assume that he's going for Zen Headbutt here, and not Earthquake. You can also get an Intimidate off, so I'm hoping Overquill can at least live the Earthquake if it's not. Nice, it is Zen Headbutt. Big. Okay, now we will catch the Earthquake on Rotom. And this way, Rotom can also survive more damage because Metagross... Oh, he actually went for Agility. Okay, very interesting. Um, it should be fine. We should just... Whoa. Let me reflect first. It's more reliable. Um, gives us more survivability. Plus, now we can, we have more chances to miss Will-O-Wiss, so I think this is beneficial. Alright, land the Willow, please. That does no damage. Of course, ah, but of course. The exact thing I planned around. Let's throw out another one. We're still fine, we have, what, three more turns? Wait, what if I get flinched to death? Oh, good. Oof. We land those. Big Willow on the Metagross. Gain back a little bit of HP. And now I have a decision to make. So I can obviously um, Volt Switch, get in my Overquill. But I'm almost more lenient to staying in to get off this damage. Because I mean, Rotom really doesn't do anything besides take down Metagross. So I kind of feel fine going for Discharge. Does absolutely piss damage. Good damage from our discharge. Oh, it's a crit. Makes sense, makes sense. Gain back a little bit of HP, chip down gross. Um I wish I was able to see how much how many turns of reflect I have left. Um actually gonna spam Willow to get up another reflect whenever it goes off. So I can have the most amount of Reflect turns, and then I'll Discharge to kill him. Because um, I do want to start playing this a little bit safer as we're going deeper into this endgame. So Reflect is gone. We'll set up another one. 
Nice. Perfect. 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 So now we're literally set up for anything that comes out next. Um, I can even play a little bit more aggressive because we do have Reflect up. I'll just go for a Discharge. Then Headbutt. Okay, first crit. And a flinch. Okay. That is why we set up Reflex and we play around those. Am I right? Am I right? So I could, also, I could also Volt Switch specifically for certain positioning. There's no Grass type move here. Um, I do actually like positioning this more than just leaving Rotom out. So I'm actually going to go for a Volt Switch. Because if I go for a Volt Switch and I bring in Infernape, then we can bait in Flygon. So... Or not Flygon, Salamance. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go... Let's go Infernape. Which, this should always bait Fly. Yep. Oh my god, you love to see Salamance finally on the ground again. He looks so fucking sick. Alright, so... You already intimidated me. I could fake out Chip. He's not inner focus, right? No, he was intimidate. Uh, yeah, I'll go for the fake out Chip. Why not? Might help for my Macargo, and then we'll just go straight into Macargo. This should always be Fly. Okay, he decides to DD. That's still okay. We are going to be taking a Dragon Rush to the face. And my Reflect is gone. So I shouldn't have wasted that fake out turn. <laughs> uh, I totally forgot about that. Um, I don't want to go for the will of us honestly. I kind of want to spam Power Gem. Because I don't like the idea of missing. Okay, he's going to DD again. This is perfect. I think this works out great for me. Because that means that he's not seeing any kill moves on me. Good damage, good damage. And we should be able to live this. He actually greedily goes for another Dragon Dance. Probably because my cargo is so bulky. With like 150 defense. So this Power Gym is going to take him out. Perfect. So we should see Ursa Rain come in here. Yep. He may even protect to get to, to get his guts up. But just in case he does go for the CC, I am going to double into my Cursola. Nice. Here's our Misery. Does go for the Protect. Yeah, the AI does like to go for Protect um, whenever it does have guts. So now let's just spam Strength Zap. Oof, we on god take a lot from that <laughs> from that play rough. But the strength step will be worth it. Should bring us back up to full. Yep. And we'll just whittle him down like this. I think once we get like minus two, um it should at least reduce his guts ability. So we shouldn't have to we should have to worry less and less. Obviously there's crits, um, but we should be fine as long as we're at full health. I'm going to go for one more strength zap just to be safe. So now that he's at minus three, I still have tons of health left. I'm debating whether I should double. I don't think I have a great switch into play rough. Um, I could be wrong. Do, 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 do. I could get off another intimidate. Technically, this resists player up, but then we have to take a CC. Um, this also resists player up, but I kind of want to keep it healthy for Lucario. So let's just stay in and go for an Earth Power. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but nice. We still should be able to live a crit from this range. That did absolutely piss damage, but hey, we believe in you, Corsola. Technically, it's just normal Corsola, but I always it, it's just so easier to remember. Calling it Cursola. So, that should be a trivia question. Um, yeah, we'll just slowly whittle down this Ursa Ring. I could Strength Zap, but I'm not a weenie. Okay. Probably should Strength Zap, because now I think I died to a crit. But, we're still cooking. I actually want to stay super healthy for 
slacking, so I am going to strength sap here. Give me a lot of health, please. 89. Damn, 161. I don't, I don't understand how strength sap stuff works. Let's actually double on this play rough. Uh, who do we want to keep alive? It's actually more beneficial because whenever we switch in Sugma here, um, the AI will want to... Well, I actually protected on that final turn. You idiot! Um, the AI will want to bring in Slacking and go for Hammer Arm and not play rough, which is very, very beneficial for us. Um, I almost want to Willow him, but I know I probably get nuked to this play rough, so let's just go Corsola first. We'll go for Strength Sap, reduces stats. I wish I, I, I wish I had. Uh, oh, I do have Will o Wisp on this thing. <laughs> Land. Okay, big. Kind of Strength Sap there to be more confident, but I could have always doubled into Macargo on the play rough and then done this uh, again. So now we should be winning. Play rough, 161 down to 138. Yep, yeah, that's like piss damage. Low piss baby slacking. Couldn't be me. So we have nothing to worry about at this point. This matchup is pretty easy for us specifically because like this whole team is physical attackers, which is kind of funny. Uh, so there really wasn't much to worry about here. So we'll just keep spamming EP. Whittling him down. Turns out Kursla is the GOAT. This is kind of like stalling, which I know is kind of boring to see. Oh fuck, I forgot he has slack off. Wow, fuck this guy. Um, Alright, we gotta find a safe turn to switch in our Infernape so I can see this, see this guy. Well, we know he's actually gonna true on this turn actually, so let's just go, let's just go into him now. Um, I can also fake him out, right? And then CC the following turn. Does fake out prevent Truant? I honestly don't know. Alright, from that range, Infernape, knock his ass out. Light work. This is actually big too, because I think Lucario comes in in HJKs. So this is actually big, big, big. Not only did I prove that I don't lose Pokemon, I did it in the most optimal way possible. This should be HJK. Ew, my cat is looking, my cat is so adorable right now. He's so chunky, but he's, he's rolling around on my desk going crazy. He's happy to see me. Let's go for a big meaty flare blitz. Oh my god, my game almost crashed. <laughs> that HP bar went down so fast. Oof, we need to save after this. That one was scary. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, do we have to do anything in here? He said, help me out inside. Oh god. Um, I guess we do get an encounter here. So, yeah, let's, why not? Let's go ahead and get one. Obviously, Steel type would be sick. Ooh, Lair on is pretty good. I will definitely take that. What is this place called? Iron Island? Oh, I probably could have also gotten an encounter at that town, huh? We are about to uh, finish up the Iron Island little Side quest, we need this to get strength, which is actually pretty good in this game. I think it's a 100 base power normal type move, um, which is good for like my potential uh, Ursa Luna and the future, as well as um, Raichu with strength and galvanize can actually put in a lot of work as well. Um, so we're gonna go up against this these team galactic goons. Um, I don't know if this battle is gonna be hard because I haven't actually looked at the squad, but Riley has been playing like dog shit. Um, so might as well keep it in the footage in case something special happens. Um, but yeah, Riley is playing like the worst teammate ever. Bro keeps like just randomly dragon dancing with his Salamance for like no reason and shit. So... Ooh, this callback could have inner focus. 
Listen, I know I'm a weenie, but I don't want to lose my Infernape. Blah, 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 blah. Where is Iron Island? He does have inner focus. See, I told you guys, and I bet you he's gonna air slash me. I told you guys he had inner focus. We're gonna go hard with cargo. We should be able to leave, live this easily. He's actually gonna retaliate me too. Flame body proc, flame body proc. Damn it. Okay, HJK gonna kill the Perugly. Fantastic. And let's see Air Slash into me though. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, now we just throw a power gem at the gold bat. Toxic Croak is kind of bad. I should be able to live one. I mean, I have this though. But I really, I should probably not risk it. Because fighting move is bad, and then it allows Lucario to go for an, uh, what is he going for, mash? I just don't think the Toxic Croak really ever targets me, because I have a shit ton, like, high defense. Wow, he actually went for cross chop, that's crazy. And we also, uh, dodge a, uh, we dodge a Hypnosis there on the Golbat. So let's target the Golbat, because it seems like our, our teammate cannot deal any damage to him. Go for a Shadow Bone. This is the one time where I've seen Riley actually outperform the Star Pupil. All right, that's big. I think that means that Riley should go for Bullet Punch on that next turn. Okay. That being is kind of scary. We just double, I think, back into Macargo though. I think we have to. Because Night Slash probably will do a lot. EP comes in, takes out the Gold Bat as expected. It's actually surprising. I feel like these guys are a lot easier than the trainers I just went up against. Essentially, the trainers actually had EVs. These guys apparently don't have EVs. Let me see. Do they have EVs? Uh. Yeah, they do have EVs. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, I'm just gonna power... I'll actually... Yeah, I'll power gem Skunk Tank. Wow, he missed the HJK rip. Well, Lucario's a goner for sure. Yep. I'm doing getting a plus one is not that scary, I don't think. Crunch, we take like a champ. And we'll P-Gen the Skunk Tank, it's to a KO. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, unfortunately, our teammate probably brings in... Oh, he actually brings in Metagross. That's really interesting. Oh, he's gonna EQ, isn't he? Um, okay, let's double because I'm not letting my teammate just EQ me for free. Q, EQ, EQ. Foul play on the me. Okay, interesting. Crunch on the Metagross. Oh yeah, he actually went for agility. Okay, well at least now he can go for EQ without killing me. That will be fantastic. Um, I am just going to set up a reflect. He does have quake. I fucking knew it. I should take out the skunk tank. Actually takes out both. Perfect. And then final Pokemon is apparently Muck. So this is a lot stress uh more straightforward. I thought, but that EQ, foul play plus EQ on my Macargo probably could have killed me. Because this guy I know for a fact has EVs. So, very dangerous situation. And let's just spam Discharge. Bop. Nice. Muck is gone. Easy peasy. Thank you, Riley, for not throwing. We love that. All right, cool. Well, I think that is going to be it for today's YouTube episode. Um, make sure to stay subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date with this playthrough as we continue. And of course, leave a like on the video if you have gotten this far. 
and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.